Get ready for trick plays and game winners for days. The hottest highlight show in high school sports starts right now. This is Under Armour Highlights of the Week. Hey there, everybody. I'm Rashawn Ali, and welcome to our weekly countdown of the top high school sports highlights from more than 40 states across the country that make up the NFHS Network. As the championship break continues, we bring you another special show featuring some of the most incredible plays that we have ever seen. And we start things off with the winner of last week's wildcard matchup as voted on by you, the fans. Coming in at number five. It's Stiff Arm. We head to Virginia for a VHSL football semifinal between Ocean Lakes and Oscar Smith. Late in the game, sophomore Eric Crosby makes a play destined for the highlight reel. Stiff Arm, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown Dolphins! Crosby, all that power! Oh my goodness! Did he just do that? Crosby plays on both sides of the ball and was actually a huge part of Ocean Lake State Championship run this past season. Up next, a shot you have to see to believe is coming in at number four. We take a trip to Tennessee for the 2012 TSSAA Basketball Quarterfinals. Lake County is hoping for a miracle as Booker T. Washington has the chance to put the Falcons away with the second of two free throws and only a few seconds remaining in regulation. It's no good. Lake County, they need a three for a tie. Here comes a long row. It's and good! Man. Wow. Oh my goodness. Derek Swift drains a 75-foot three-pointer at the buzzer to send the game to overtime. Lake County goes on to win in overtime in one of the most memorable games in Tennessee State tournament history. Our next clip is up for grabs and it's coming in at number three. We check in late in the fourth between Washington State District rivals Tumwater and Capitol. Tumwater has pulled within two and looks to tie the game with a two-point conversion. The Thunderbirds go with the bouquet style pass and execute it to perfection. Some water was more than happy to tell us all about their game tying trick play. I faked a little fullback and then I go straight back so I know the center's right here. And I just throw it back and he's right there every time. Block down for a little bit, roll out, and wait for the ball to be thrown up so I can rebound it. And is that how you think of it as a rebound? Yeah. That's all, all I can think of it. An incredible play and an amazing finish. But we could have something even more unbelievable right after this. William Shakespeare said that all the world's a stage and men and women are merely players. But Mr. Shakespeare never met Stephen Curry. Nihau, the guy who was in the gym every dang day. Patriot Saint of the underdog, the league's most unguardable player. Bang, he knocks it down. So my apologies to Mr. Shakespeare. Because onto the stage of mere players enters the babyface assassin. And he's about to write his own story. Fall back. Welcome back to Under Armour Highlights of the Week on the NFHS Network. I'm Rashawn Ali. This past week, hundreds of the NCAA's most coveted football players turned pro at the 80th annual NFL Draft. Making it, hey, a perfect time for us to dig into the NFHS Network locker and look at one of the top picks back in his high school days. It's 2011 at the Alabama High School Athletic Association AL.com Champions Challenge. Fans have traveled from all over the state to see one of the nation's top quarterbacks in Hueytown's Jameis Winston. Winston and the Golden Gophers face defending 4A champ Thomasville. This preseason test is not an easy one. Down early, Winston responds with a long touchdown throw and then goes on to further frustrate the D with his effortless elusiveness. The Tiger defense would have no answer for number eight's sheer speed and strength. The dual threat would tally up over 100 yards rushing and four touchdowns on 19 carries, going on to lead Hueytown to a 36-27 victory. The now NFL quarterback ranks fourth all-time in Alabama history for career total offense at just under 10,000 yards. The countdown continues with a trick pick, coming in at number two. It's the 2013 Mississippi High School Activities Association 6A Baseball Championship. In game one of a three-game series between Harrison Central and South Haven, the score is all tied up at three in the top of the seventh. With one out and a runner on second, South Haven calls a meeting on the mound to talk things over. With a 1-0 count, pitcher Wyatt Short looks to pick off the runner at second. 
Uh, Johnny will take kick off. And they got him. Got him, but no one's there. It's second to cover. Wow. In time. They do pick off Bunkman from second base. That's the old Wichita pickoff, Travis, that many teams have in the repertoire, but you very seldom see it used. And uh, boy, South Haven executed that to perfection. Middle infielders there running towards the outfield, pointing at the baseball that's not there. Short still got the baseball. And then we cut the runner down at second. South Haven were going to win the state championship, and their trick play would go down as one of the best ever executed in a high school game. When we come back, it's your chance to get in the game right after this. All right, team, listen up. You'll all be joining my team, the NFHS Network. We've got your favorite high school sports wherever you want them, whenever you want them. Streaming live or on demand. Only on the NFHS Network. Welcome back to Under Armour Highlights of the Week on the NFHS Network. I'm Rashawn Ali. It's time now for your chance to get in the game and pick our wild card clip of the week. First up, a throwback from the 2011 South Carolina High School League Soccer Finals between Irmo and Wando. Wando's Brandon Burkholder executes a perfect flip throw to Hamilton Carlin to take an early 1-0 lead. In our second clip at the Colorado High School Activities Association Soccer Championship between Broomfield and Boulder, Broomfield's Porter Milner shows off his rendition of the flip throw. It's Wando flip throw versus flip throw 2.0. To see the full highlights, just go to nfhsnetwork.com slash UA highlights and vote your favorite into next week's show. But hurry, hurry, hurry. Voting closes soon. Well, guys, we've reached the end of the show, which can only mean one thing. It's the end of the show. We'll see you soon. Just kidding. It's time for our number one highlight from our vault of incredible plays. We depart for Dodge City, Kansas. It's the 2012 hatchet game between Garden City and Dodge City, a rivalry dating back to the early 1900s. We pick up the action with a miscommunication between Garden City center and quarterback. And the ball is... The snap is intercepted by Dodge City, and Galloway is going to go! Touchdown, Red Demons! I've never seen anything like that. It looked like it came off the center, it hit his rear end, and it just laid up there in the air for anybody to take. The snap is intercepted. Whoa, now that's something that you don't hear every day. It's no wonder this clip has nearly 3 million views and counting. Wow, that's fantastic. Hey, guys, remember, if you catch a high school highlight worth sharing, we want to see it. So send your best clips to UA Highlights at nfhsnetwork.com or tweet us by using the hashtag UA Highlights. We might just feature your school right here on our show. Plus, check out nfhsnetwork.com for the best live and on-demand high school sports action anywhere. I guarantee it. Well, guys, it's been a blast sharing some of our favorite highlights. But next week on The Countdown, we'll get back to some spring championship action. But until then, I'm Rashawn Ali. Thank you so much for watching Under Armour Highlights of the Week on the NFHS Network. We'll see you soon.